Hi, my name is Alex Cecilia. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to show you how to draw a school bus in Photoshop. Okay, so to draw a school bus, we're probably going to want to start with the rounded um, rectangle tool. And the way that you get to the rounded rectangle tool is you go to your rectangle or shape tool right below the text tool, hold down the, uh, the shape tool and right below the rectangle is the rounded rectangle. And I'm going to just start off by drawing a rounded rectangle. And then I'm actually going to draw another rounded rectangle. But that's kind of big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. There we go. And then I'm actually going to go over here and so I'm hold down shift and select both layers, hold down control, click, and you're going to merge these layers so that they become one layer. And then I'm going to go to the ellipse tool, which is right where we found the rounded rectangle tool, but it's right underneath it. And I'm going to switch my color to white. And I'm actually going to add a new layer. And the way you do that is you go right next to the trash can um, on your layers panel. There's this little sticky note button. You click that, and it creates a new layer. And so I'm going to create and so I'm going to do what I did with the bus. I'm going to merge the layers. And then I'm actually going to hold control and click, and I'm going to write create a clipping mask. And what this is going to do is make it so that I can draw my wheels on the inside. This is just uh, the cutout for where the wheels are going to go. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw that little bar that is right next to the window in a school bus. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the pen tool. And the pen tool is right below the smudge tool right here. Select the pen tool. And I'm actually going to select um, black. And draw that. And then I'm going to hold down control um, and click. And instead of fill path, which is normally what you do, you're going to do stroke path. And you're going to do brush and push OK. And then you can uh, push control click again, and this will delete the path. And actually, oh, see, don't do what I did. Make sure you add another layer before you do that, because I actually added it to this layer right here. And that made it so it was also a clipping mask. So make sure you add another layer. And then you do it again, the path, or stroke path. And there you've got your little bus thing. So now I'm going to add my wheels. But the first thing you're going to want to do before you add your wheels is hold down Control and delete path. And the reason you're doing this is because when you create your ellipse, you want it to show up. So I'm going to create my ellipse. I'm actually going to add this layer underneath the bus. Actually, no, I'm going to add it on top. And you can resize this if you want by holding Control and go to Free Transform Path. And this will adjust the size of your wheel. And then up here, you can select the check button, and that'll select it for you. All right, so I'll, now I'm going to make a copy of this wheel, and I'm going to hold Option. And I'm just going to drag it across like that. All right, so now we've got the basic shape. Um, and buses usually have that those lines that go right all the way across them like this. So I'm going to make a couple of those. And I'm going to make a really thick one. And the way you can change the weight is up here in weight. I'm going to make this one a four. And add one more. 
And then, so we've, now we've got two more things to add. We've got windows and the door. So we're going to go to the rectangle tool, which is right below the text. And you're going to have them white. And sometimes that won't always work. So if, if you've chosen a color and it doesn't show up, your color is available up here or it's available over here. And it, you can change it whichever way you want. I'm going to change it from up here to white. And then you can do what we did with the wheels. You hold down Option and you drag it a couple times. However many times you want. Just stay true to the, true, uh, the school bus. I'm going to draw a little window here because that's where the bus driver sits. And then we need the door. And the door is kind of a rounded rectangle as well. And then you can, you can add a stroke to it. And so you, down here in your la layers, you can go to FX, stroke. And I'm going to make a really light stroke line. And this is just the size, and it's going to be black. And I'm actually going to add a couple more to this door, like this. And if you want, this door can actually be a different color. So I'm going to change it to maybe a darker yellow, like that. There you have your very basic school bus. My name is Alex Cecilio, and this is how you draw a school bus in Photoshop. Thank you.